This game better not rip out my heart and destroy it. It's like not allowed. Please remember that this game has content warnings. Welcome back to Amori. Last time we played, we woke up in a bright room where we've basically always been, but then we met up with our friends and now things are bright and colorful. We just saved the picnic basket with Mari. Run along and have fun now. You know where to find me. I love all the sprites for everybody. Ah uh, yes, some nutritious candy. Would you like to eat some? Uh, of course. I love that! You and your friends feel like new. I wonder if that sound effect is a ringtone. Also, this kid is a pompadour. Neb, I like puzzles. <laughs> okay. A very difficult puzzle. All the pieces are blank. Oh, kiddo. There's so much here. It's like information overload. I don't want to click on you. Because I feel like you're actually, like, an important conversation with the light bulb. Michael? I'm going to swing to the moon. Okay. You have fun. What's this? No boss zone. Violators will be prosecuted. So, no bossy kids or no bosses like video game bosses. Fun. Nose is my best friend. Okay. She can't say much, but she's really smart. Okay. Are you going down the slide backwards? Nose looks occupied. Okay. Oh, I saw you before. Bangs, having fun takes too much effort, so watching my friends having fun is enough for me. Okay, buddy. <laughs> Joker Jash Peekaboo. <laughs> Also, um, Charlene, H hello, friends. Oh, honey, at first you looked a bit scary, but now I kind of want to be your friend. Oh, oh, <laughs> those kids at the bottom, upside down, they look like Eevee. This game makes me only think of Pokemon is what I'm learning. Daisy, sorry, please don't step around here. I'm picking flowers for someone special. Okay, sorry. Does the egg make sounds? <laughs> Meanwhile, Daisy's like, stop it. What? Burly? Hey, Amori, guess what? I got some plans today. Big plans. Just stay put for a while. You'll see what I mean soon enough. Oh, okay. Literally? Oh, you're just gonna tell me the same thing. Okay. Who's your friend? Van. Burly talks so fast when she's excited. It gets really hard to keep up. Okay. Well, I'm gonna... Hey, wait just one second. Where do you all think you're going? You can't leave without joining us for a game of hide and seek. You didn't tell me that. Stay and play with us. The more the merrier. You want to play hide and seek again? Yeah. But you know how this turned out last time. I really don't. Y yeah. Sorry, Burly. I think we're going to have to pass. We're going to Basil's house now. Oh, that was what we were doing. <laughs> Forgot. All the cute things distracted me. We'll catch up with you later. Not so fast. You guys trying to avoid me again? What's up with you two? Is it my face? My rough and tough exterior? At least I'm not as bad as Boss. Oh, Boss is a person. It's a good thing I banned him from the playground after what happened last time. Oh, that makes so much more sense. I wonder what that moron is up to now. There's no need for names. Good riddance. So, you want to play hide and seek, Basil? <gasps> wait, wait, wait. So you told them no, but then right in front of them, you're going to be like, you want to do the exact same thing? I can go either way. 
there's no rush to go to my house after all. I think I'll leave it up to Amori. What do you want to do? Uh... <laughs> I don't like cheesing between them like this. Amori, Amori, my best friend. Come on, you know how to play hide and seek, don't you? In general or in this game? Yes? That's what I thought. What's stopping you then? Come on, let's play. I'll round everyone up. Literally everyone? Oh shit, I, 10, huh? Oh, I thought I was gonna, I thought I was gonna have to like suddenly go and find people. It's a lot of pressure. Oh, it actually seems like basically everyone. All right, maggots. Oh, here's the rules. We're gonna be entertaining ourselves with a little game of hide and seek. Is Burly talking like a drill sergeant or whatever they're called? Here in my hands, I've got some straws, see? <laughs> everyone here is gonna pick a straw. The one with the shortest straw is gonna be it, and we'll have to find everyone else. Please don't be me, please don't be me, please don't be me. Sounds easy enough, right? Please don't be me. We all got our straws? Good. Now, let's see who's gonna be it. Please don't be me. I don't know where I would hide either. Damn it. Well, well, well. Looks like the one with the shortest straw is... Amori! I knew it. Oh wait, Amori's it? But Amori doesn't like to be alone. Oh. Amori seems like they're afraid of a lot of things. It makes me really sad for Amori. But Amori also has a lot of friends. It's like bittersweet. Like, really sad for Amori. That there's so many things that they're afraid of. But also, they've got a lot of friends. Are you gonna be okay, Amori? I can take your place if you want. Holy shit, you've got supportive friends, Amori! I don't mind, really. Hey, I hear you plotting over there. The straws make the rules, not me. Come on, don't be babies, it ain't so bad. Wait, uh, weren't you the one who was getting so upset earlier? If you can be upset, other people can be upset. Everybody can be upset. Amori will be fine. No. <laughs> when you're ready to play, walk up to the tetherball pole and close your eyes. And no peeking, or else. <laughs> All of these characters have such character. It's fun. Um, I don't know what else I'm gonna do, so yeah, let's do this. Oh, it's all dark. Five, four, three, two, one, go! Oh, I love how they enemy that! Oh, found you. Whoa, you found me! Now I can help you find everyone. Oh, good. Just don't tell Burly about this, got it? So wait, was Kel purposefully hiding where I would find them? So that way Amori would be alone? Oh, that's so cute and supportive. I love all of these characters. Okay. Those goes! <laughs> If you're too loud, they'll hear us. Nose goes. Bun goes. Ah, be quiet, Nose. We're hiding, remember? I don't, I don't think you quite get how this game works. Aha! We found you, Bun and Nose. Nose, they found us. Nose goes. Oh, you know I can't stay mad at you. Let's go and play patty cake. I love all of them. Turns out there's not many places to hide here for a god my size. But this is still fun! As long as Burly is happy, I'm happy. Is that a cat? Bunch of small toy cars. Um, buddy. Browse. Ah! I love this game in a way 
that I don't have the words for. And I use a lot of words. Oh, you found me. Darn. <laughs> Let's go find everyone else together, Amori. This game better not rip out my heart and destroy it. It's like not allowed. And of course, as I say that, I know that's what will happen. I already found you guys, right? <laughs> yeah. I would remember that scream anywhere. So what are the limits of this area? Also, you were closed. Happy? Boing, it's me, Happy! You found me! So that means I gotta go do something else now. Oh, I know. I'm gonna go count the alphabet backwards. Well, if you count it, it's still gonna be the same number. Like, it's still gonna be 26 letters. But you go do that. Z, Y, X, W, V. Oh my god, do I have to click through all this? That's, that's not right. Um, O? You can, you keep, you keep at it, buddy. I can't do the alphabet backwards, but you keep at it, buddy. Darn, you found me. Oh, bangs. <laughs> I guess that means I lose. You know what Happy would say right now? No? She'd say something like, Bangs, you should always try your best at everything. How else will people see how awesome you are? Next time, I guess. I love the eggs. Wait, do the bananas make sounds too? No. Eternal banana? Okay. Charlene. That's it? What's the, what, what? A suspicious blue mailbox. I, I don't think you guys are hiding well. Oh, hey guys. You know, I found a really good hiding spot, but Sean and Ren invited me to join them in their exercise routine. It's fun and good for you. Are you guys doing like, the insanity workouts or something? You guys should really try this. It's really a workout. Oh man, I'm so tired. Wow, you really don't know how to say no to anyone, do you, Hero? Are you a people pleaser, Hero? Come on, Hero. We gotta help Amori find everyone else. All right, all right. I'm coming. Bye, Sean. Bye, Ren. This is fun. Yeah, let's do this again sometime. See you later, hero! <laughs> We're not playing! We're exercising! Oh, okay, is, there's a cat again! Okay, uh... I see you in the tree. Huh? Where am I? <laughs> I was dreaming that I was on a private beach with servants fanning with, with palm leaves on every side, when suddenly, wham! And now here I am! I must have fallen asleep while hiding. I guess that's game over for me. <laughs> I love it. Um, what about, uh, this is a specific, uh, it, this is a suspicious bump in the sand with a straw. There's a straw on the ground. Pull it out. Yes. <laughs> I was just gonna say, where's Burly? <sighs> Took you guys long enough. I thought I was gonna suffocate in there. Isn't that what the straw's for? How'd you like my hiding spot? Pretty good, huh? The cat. It looks like you pretty much found everyone else too. Unexpected, but I like it. Let's do a final roll call. Where's the pompadour guy? And hut. Bam. Here as always, buddy. Charlene. Here. Mikal. He's sleeping. Oh, what gives? Happy. You're here. Oh, that's happy. Rouse. Aha! Oh, no. Bangs. Here. Bun. Bun is here. Nose. Nose goes. Hero. Present. Kel. Gone. You really gotta do this every time, Burly. Hey, 
Hey, that wasn't called for. Aubrey. Here I am. Oh, where's Basil? That's strange. I thought I saw him go hiding near that tree over there. Basil, where are you? Can you hear us? Basil? Come out now. You already won! Quiz zooming. Hello, Basil! Hey, there's Basil? Basil, are you okay? Are we stuck? Is this boss? That peeled off. That's <laughs> how you say that, right? Boss, I should have known it was you. You good for nothing scoundrel. How will we have the power of friendship without Basil? <laughs> Let Basil go. Yeah, what did Basil ever do to you? Basil's our friend. Don't you dare hurt him. Let go of Basil, boss. He didn't do anything wrong. <laughs> you stupid head. <laughs> you think this is about Basil? Don't play dumb. You know why I'm here. How dare you not invite me to hide and seek. I love how the motivation of this rhino boss boss is you didn't invite me and my feelings are hurt it's so <sighs> pure i'm the one who showed you all how to play in the first place you're not even playing it right how are you supposed to play it how can you call it hide and seek without any body slamming okay you know how i said pure maybe not pure my flower crown Hey, that's the flower crown we made for Basil. How could you? You let go of him, you bully. No. If I can't play with everyone, then no one can. Sounds like a selfish choice there, buddy. This is a boss-only zone now. Okay, wait. <laughs> Your motivations are people aren't playing with me, and I'm upset by that. And now you're saying this area is an area where only I can play. So you're creating a system, or like you're creating a system or an area where people can't play with you. Isn't, isn't that exactly what was happening before that you're so upset about? That doesn't make sense. Does it, like you're only okay with it if it's on your terms? And you're not invited. Oh, I love it. Oh my God. So colorful and pretty. What will Amori and friends do? Well, I guess we can't run, so fight. Why do they all say neutral? Attack, skill, <gasps> snack or toy? Oh my god. Uh, what are our skills? Sad poem, Amori. Uh, uh, attack. Oh my gosh, Basil's crying. Attack? Sure. Oh, what will Aubrey do? What is your skill, Aubrey? Pep talk. Oh my gosh. What does toy do? Oh, we, we don't have toys. I'm assuming snack is healing, but we don't have any snacks. I guess we'll attack who, oh, okay. So the red is around each person that we're currently selected on. Otherwise it's very confusing. What will Kel do? What is your skill? Annoy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that makes sense. I feel like that's the advantage of having a game that has already built up characters, even though it feels so subtle. I can already have that gut instinct of, yes, that makes sense for this character. But I don't know. I was just gonna say, I don't know what that does, but I was not reading. 
because at the top it does say annoying makes a friend or foe angry, but I don't know what angry does. Let's attack. What will hero do? Hero can cook, heals a friend for 75% of their heart. Can be used outside of battle. Okay. And I didn't read through what Amori and Aubrey's skills do. I'll have to do that next turn. <laughs> you weaklings! You call that an attack? <gasps> Rude. Okay. A Mori sad poem inflicts sad on a friend or foe. Why would we want to do it on a friend? But we don't know what sad actually does. So I don't think that's something we want to do right now. I guess we're just going to attack. And the pep talk makes a friend or foe happy. As long as it's not toxic positivity. So I guess we're just going to have everybody attack. Is... I haven't checked yet. Does Amori have that shiny knife? I was, I've was i been trying to look and see if all of their actual attacks look different. If they're like that customized. And when I saw the slash, it made me wonder. Hey, that kind of hurt. Only kind of. Hmm. This isn't fun anymore. Then leave. Like drop. Drop Basil and leave. So. Huh. We don't have the knife still. Actually been attacked. Hero got hit for five damage. Now you've made me angry. Okay, so angry status effect. It's time for my special move. Body slam. I was wondering. You talk. Did ah. Uh. They literally became toast. Okay, so wait, wait, wait. The toaster at the very beginning where we make toast. Is that a respawn point? Also, Aubrey's toast is adorable. It has a little bow on it. But Amori did not succumb. I'm guessing this is a scripted event. It's supposed to happen? Are we supposed to be taught how to fight here? Huh, how are you still moving? his knuckles. I don't want to run. Basil, he still has Basil. Uh, can we finish him? Ugh. We were victorious, but our friends are, t friends are toast. I love that play on words. We got experience on the tiny confetti, but Amori still looks so sad. We got 22 clams. I also love that clams are the money. Are our friends going to poof into toast? This isn't fair. I'm sorry, what? Rematch. I want a rematch. As the great philosopher Mick Jagger once said, you don't always get what you want. Oh! <laughs> Did they go up and like kick him in the shins? <gasps> Basil, are you hurt? Uh, don't worry about me. I'm just fine. Boss, it must hurt to see people have fun without you. These are the most empathetic people. A lot of adults could take some lessons. But that doesn't mean you can ruin other people's fun. Yes. Oh my gosh. Yes, we are allowed to feel our emotions. Our emotions are valid, but it's what we do with it. So, yes, this character can feel hurt 
totally valid, but it's what we do with that. <laughs> I know that. There. Does that feel better? Basil, are you sure it's okay to do that? Boss is bad news. It's a good thing Amori held on during the final attack or else we would have all been toast. It's okay, I trust him. When you were all fighting, he tried really hard to make sure I didn't get hurt. It almost seems like the game is talking about this idea that like hurt people hurt people but not all hurt people hurt people is that true boss it's like boss wants to put on this facade being big and bad and doesn't want to admit that they're not big and bad or that they're not big and bad all the time <laughs> that's a lot of baloney I don't need to hear these lies. This is my spot. No one is welcome here. Oh! But you wanted connections so bad. <laughs> That's why you came, looking for people. Well, he probably won't be a problem as long as he stays like that. I guess that means we can go to Basil's house now. That sounds good to me. We're leaving now, boss. Don't cause any trouble, okay? Okay, I'm ready. Let's go. This is the cutest stinking game in the world. Are you, are you just getting hit in the head? to most of these people at least once. Happy. Ha! And a ha! And a ha! And a ha! Okay. Ah! The eggs will never not be funny. What's at the mailbox, though? I think we've explored everything here. Yes, yes, hello, valued customer. Welcome to my shop. Please buy something. Uh, <laughs> hi. We can buy candy, apple juice. I want apple juice. Jacks. And a present. Okay, we have 72 clams. So these are the items that we can use in battle. Candy, a child's favorite food. Sweet, heals 30 heart. Apple juice, apparently better than orange juice. Not apparently, this is an objective fact. Heals 25 juice. So is juice like our mana and heart is our HP? Jax, deals small damage to all foes and reduces their speed. And then a present, it's not what you wanted, inflicts anger on a friend or foe. Oh no! Okay, well, uh, I feel like healing items are good. We have four people in our party, so let's go with four. 40 clams. Thank you kindly. And then one apple juice. And then let's save the rest. It's nice to meet you, Mr. Mailbox. Or Mrs. Mailbox. Or I should ask your pronouns first. Hi, Mailbox. Being south. Right? Train station, Pinwheel Forest, Basil's House. Basil's House is a big enough attraction, they have it on the sign. What else is over? Wait, Amori, we're supposed to go to my house. Okay. It's just past this. It is just past the path south of the playground. I just finished painting some little sprouts and wanted to show everyone. Come on, they're really cute. Okay. Right now, I am not allowed to explore. Fair enough. Sometimes the music does some stuff and I'm like, is that new? A watering can. <gasps> These are cute. These are sunflowers. They're called that because they always face towards the sun. That's how I want to be like. 
someone who can always see the bright side of things. I think that there's value in seeing and recognizing the bright side of things, but at the same time, not to the point of toxic positivity. Because there's also value in recognizing what is actually going on, even if that thing that we're recognizing doesn't always feel great. Because toxic positivity is when we're sitting there ignoring the not so great things that are happening. And sometimes that feels like emotions too. Oh, of course it's a watering can. These flowers are called Lily of the Valley. Oh, I love Lily of the Valley. It's said that they're able to ward off evil spirits and help people see a brighter future. I guess that's why they remind me of Mari. I can always count on her to help me stay positive. H hi You're a thumpin'. Whoa! What's that ugly plant creature? Don't you know, Kel? That's a sprout mole. Yeah, wasn't that what Aubrey made in the sand? Sprout moles are highly intelligent creatures, but become dangerously vicious when they are lost. Please, Mr. Sprout Mole, stop that! You're stomping all over the flowers! <laughs> Sprout Mole makes direct eye contact and does it more. Is this different battle music? I love it. Ah, oh, it looks like this Sprout Mole is angry. <laughs> like us, the Sprout Moles also feel emotions. Since this sprout mole is angry, its attack is higher. Oh, that's what anger does. Okay, so wait, why would we want to do that on purpose? Unless we can do that on our own teammates and make their attacks higher. But on the other hand, it lowers its defense. Ugh. So what you're saying is now is the perfect time to strike. Come on, Amori, let's do this. Okay, so we can fight. And I bought the snacks, so they should be there. Yeah, we have candy and apple juice. Oh, okay. So I noticed before that there was the little droplet next to, or like above Sad Poem. That's what that does. Or that's what that is. It's the juice cost. That's funny. And we still don't have any toys. So we can attack. It doesn't give us a number for the HP though. I wish it kind of did. So we, we know what anger does. We don't know what sadness or the other status effects do. Let's just attack for all of this. It's already angry and it, that's the only status effect that we know what it does. Oh, okay. Mori is the only one who doesn't smile during the victory thing. Party gain. 22 experience? And three... Oh, only three clams, really? Oh! Levels! Amori grew to level two. That's it. Ah. Wait. Basil wasn't in the party. Most of the flowers are unharmed. That's a relief. Hey, Amori! Now that we're getting the hang of battling, there's a... Oh, here's a journal where we can keep track of any neat foes we come across. Oh my god, the completionist in me. Oh, I want to complete all of that. Hero gave you the faux facts journal. There, now it's in your pocket. The journal is yours to record with, but we might pitch in sometimes too. Check it out through your pocket in the player menu by pressing B. <gasps> oh my gosh! I love everything about this game. I've said it before. I will probably say it again. Why is this question mark for our party? Equip pocket skills options. Select two. Pocket. Snacks, toys, important. Okay, so the only important thing we have in our pocket is the journal for keeping track of foes, the faux facts. And then we have the snacks that we bought before. That's really it. Look at our skills. Guard, we didn't look at. Acts first, reducing damage taken for one turn. Okay, doesn't cost anything. We still don't know what sad does. Wonder if we have to do it in order to find that stuff out or if it will eventually tell us. Oh, we do have the knife. 
Shiny knife. A shiny new knife. You can see your reflection in the blade. And then we see our stats. Heart, juice, attack, defense, speed, luck, hit. Oh, she has the stuffed, Aubrey has the stuffed toy. Mr. Plant Egg. Oh, that's why it looked like a watermelon. Makes a weird noise when you punch it. So they probably do have a certain amount of customized attacks that they do as far as how it looks when they actually attack based off of whatever they're equipped with. And then Kel has a rubber ball playground tested. Child approved. Kel also has Hector for a charm. I think he's the only one who has a charm. Hector can talk, but is very shy. He is a good friend. He's cute. Yeah, Aubrey doesn't have one, and Amori doesn't have one. So, Kel is the only one who has a charm. I like how the charm is named, too. And then Heroes. Weapon is a spatula. Good for flipping burgers. Oh, this question mark isn't for the characters. It's for something else. That's why it's question mark. There's a lot more flowers. These are roses. Can you guess who they remind me of? They remind me of Hero. Did you guess correctly? No. No, I didn't. I had no idea. Roses come in many different colors and have their own unique meanings. Pink roses symbolize admiration. Orange roses symbolize passion. Yellow roses symbolize friendship, and the list goes on. Hero doesn't remind me of any rose in particular. I think Hero is like all roses because he's versatile and universally loved. Ah, these are a type of flower called the gladiolus. <laughs> Gladio what? <laughs> gladiolus, also known as the sword flower. As you might guess, they represent strength of character. Someone who's honest with strong moral values. Someone who stands by their convictions. The gladiolus reminds me of Aubrey because she's always true to herself. So is there one flower for everyone? Oh, I see. So what you're saying is that Aubrey is really stubborn. <laughs> hey, no, I'm not. <laughs> okay, let's move on. No wonder his ability is annoying. <gasps> Oh no, not again. Please, Mr. Sprout Mole, stop twirling. You're destroying all the flowers. Yes, battle. <laughs> Poor Basil's like, please stop. Oh, this is how they're teaching us about the status effects because the last one is red and this one is yellow. So I'm guessing it's a different status effect. Oh, I see. This Sprout Mole is happy. In that case, it has a higher chance to hit our weak spots and do more damage. But this also means it has a higher chance of missing. Okay. Well, let's just fight. Oh, we did damage this Or from something. Let's just attack, I guess. Oh, oh that's nice. I love all the animations. If you could just stop what you're doing and let us attack you, that'd be great. Stop rolling around, please. Yeah. Eighteen experience, four clams. Found tofu on the ground. Oh, okay. Hmm. We seem to be running across a lot of foes with emotion. In case you didn't know, emotions can determine how strong or weak an attack is. Happy beats angry. Is this rock, paper, scissors with emotion? Angry beats sad. And sad beats happy. <laughs> okay. Here, I even drew up a guide on how they work. I'm no artist, but I think you'll get the point. I'll put it in your pocket so you can check it out later. Was that the question mark? You got an emotion chart. Do you want to look at the emotion chart now? 
Yes. <gasps> oh my gosh, it's cute. Is Amori always neutral? So when we're happy, our luck is up, our speed is up, our hit rate is up. When we're angry, our attack is up, but our defense is down. When we're sad, our defense is up, our speed is down. Some damage to our heart. And juice? Okay. So, when they say that they're strong against some and weak against them, does that mean that for that happy one, if we had given the sad emotion to one of our characters, would we have done more damage? Or if we had actually, if we had actually used the like sad poem on that sprout mole, would it have done damage or more damage? these flowers called? They're all cool and spiky. They're a cactus. Actually, Cal, this is a cactus. It's more of a plant than a flower. And it's funny that you ask because they remind me of you because they're spiky and annoying. Is it because he's a prick? Oh, oh, that is a different way to phrase that. Hey, well, oh, you're not denying it. That too, but mostly because cacti are very sturdy and resilient plants by nature. Basil, you have such a way of seeing the positives. They don't need much care and can survive even in seemingly impossible conditions. I guess what I'm saying is that even you could take care of a cactus cow. <laughs> Shit. Whoa, neat. <laughs> cacti are awesome. It's very true. Aloe vera are cacti. I love aloe vera. What are these? Ah. These are white tulips. Does a Mori get a flower? Plain, simple, and bulbous, just like a Mori. <laughs> bulbous. <laughs> I don't know, I just think it's cute. Hmm. There's not like an in-depth explanation for that one. I ran into a tree. Sprat mole! It's all good, Basil. We got the hang of this by now. Are you just gonna run up? Is this one sad? Hmm. The sprout mole seems a bit sad. See how it's curled up in the fetal position? That means it won't do as much damage as normal. But it will also take less damage to heart and will lose juice instead. Oh, that's what that means. How sad. Let's put it out of its misery. It sounds so sad. Okay, so. If we attack with Amori. Anger did more damage to Zad, so let's attack with Aubrey. And then Cal. Um. Well, I want. I want to try using. Noi on the actual sprout. I don't know. When it says that it's weak against something, I don't know if that means that I should use a Noi on us or a Noi on them. So let's try to use this on the mole. Okay, so we just changed it to angry. So we do need to use it on us. And then that'll change our emotions. And then our attacks will do more damage. The, like it'll be like increased damage. If I'm understanding this correctly. Oh, and then I'll just have everybody attack this round. Try right now. 22 experience, 3 glams, Aubrey's level 2, Kala's level 2, and Hero's level 2. And learned massage. Okay.
This is a long way. Hi everyone, you all came just in time for a lovely picnic. Feel free to rest here. Everything is already set up and I even brought some fruit. Not candy. Well, this is a good place to stop. I absolutely adore this game. I love all of the different... Uh, I love the attention to detail. I love how emotions change things. Love it. It's absolutely stinking cute, too. I would love to hear your guys' thought on the game so far, and then I will see you guys in the next video.